Hi everyone, welcome back. If you do not know, my name is Devin. Here on my channel, I cover all things beauty. That includes makeup, fragrance, and designer here and there. If you think that is something you'll be interested in, then I hope you stay and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to click the notification bell so you're notified every week when I upload. In today's video, we have another Victoria's Secret fragrance haul, you guys. Yes, I'm going to be talking about some of the brand new body mists that are out right now. So if you guys are interested and want to hear my thoughts, then just keep watching. Okay, so normally I would split the video up in two. I would do the pink fragrance mist in one video and then the Victoria's Secret mist in another video, but I decided not to do that. I'm going to combine them in one video. So we're actually gonna start with pink. Pink has a new collection out, which has three different fragrances in there. Um, they have an apple fragrance, which I actually originally picked up, but I took it back. And the reason why I picked it up, I'll pop a picture on the screen. The reason why I picked it up um, is because I actually ordered these online and then I went in store. So I ordered these online and online originally they didn't have the vanilla one. They only had the apple and the cherry. So I took the apple one back because if you know me, you know I am not big on apple. I don't know, apple just, it's just not a scent that I really like. It's just not a scent that I really like. So um, I sprayed it. And I was like, you know what? No, it's just not for me. It really is a no for me. So I took that back. Now what I did end up getting is the O Cherry. And this one has dark cherry, red pomegranate, and vanilla amber. So I did go ahead and get this because I am a cherry fan. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray it for you guys. Um, so this one is nice. It's definitely a dark cherry scent. Um, I do get a little bit of that ambery note in the dry down, but honestly, it's not super unique. It's not a super unique cherry. It's not anything that we haven't already smelled. But honestly, I did not grab all the cherry scents out. I should have. This is kind of uh, trying to get this video going because it's silent in my house for a moment. Um, so yeah, um, it, like I said, it's not anything different. It is a really pretty cherry, so I am going to be keeping it because I do enjoy cherry fragrances in general, and I do like this one. So yeah. All right, moving on to the next scent. This is going to be very vanilla. As soon as I seen the name and the notes, I was like, absolutely, yes, I need this. So this one is crumb cake, cinnamon sugar, and vanilla drizzle. Y'all, this is definitely a whole of that. It is definitely a super, super yummy gourmand fragrance. Definitely is a cakey, really cakey fragrance. You definitely get the cinnamon in here as well. And a hint of that sweet vanilla drizzle on top of the cake. It smells absolutely delicious. So much so, I had to get the body lotion. And you know, I don't get body lotions if they're not like... I don't know. It got to be something special because I don't really love Victoria's Secret lotions because they're very, very thin. Um, so I don't I don't love them. I want them more to be a body cream, but it's fine. But it smells amazing. And I wore this the other night when I got out the shower. My husband couldn't stop sniffing me. He was telling me that I smelled so yummy and delicious. So this is definitely a win in my book. If you don't get anything else, get this only if you're a gourmand lover, though. So I absolutely love that. Victoria's Secret, the new line. I don't know what this line is called, but I'll pop it on the screen if I find it. We're going to go ahead and talk about it. So I did purchase three out of the four. And the reason for that is because I actually went into my store, smelled them, and tested them instead of just blind buying them. Because, you know, majority of the time I buy them online from Victoria's Secret and then I have to take them back because I don't like them. So, yeah. So, we're going to start with the one that I did not get. Right, no. So, the one that I actually did not get was called Amber Something. That one had like a really smoky note in it that I did not enjoy. Um, So, I did spray it on my skin. I walked around for a little bit and I was like, you know, let me see... I didn't like it. I just didn't like it. It wasn't for me. 
but I did get the other three. So the next one we're going to talk about is a berry brulee and it looks like this one and this one is shaved chocolate and jasmine petals. Now I have seen some people's reviews on these already and they were saying that they don't really get a chocolate note in here. I do. Now I don't know if this chocolate note is going to stay all throughout the fragrance but I definitely get it when I first smell it, it definitely reminds me of the, this is like a fragrance mist of that Victoria's Secret um, perfume that came out last year that had like that, uh, the berries and the chocolate note in there. That is what this reminds me of. A lot of people didn't pick up the chocolate in that one either. I actually did. So I loved that one. And I love this one too. I just feel like it it's definitely a bunch of mixed dark berries with a hint of like something sweet chocolate on top. I like this one and um, I did not get any of the lotions to go with these, but I definitely will be going back to get the lotions on these. I just didn't get them at the time because I didn't feel like I needed them. All right, so the next one is Sugared Petals. This one is Sweet Macaron and Shimmering Woods. Um, let me see what this one smells like. And I, I did smell these in stores, but I have not smelled them since I brought them home. This one is so nice. This one is very, very sugary, like really sweet. It says a sweet macaron, like cookie. So that's a little bit of what I'm getting from. I'm getting like a sweet sugary cookie. It's really nice. I love this one as well. And um, I want the body cream for that one too. And then the very last one is pistachio creme. And this is the one I was most excited about. This is vanilla glaze and solar musk. If you like pistachio, you would really, really enjoy this. Did we already get a pistachio one from them? I can't remember if we got a pistachio one from them this year. I reviewed so many, but this one is really sweet. I feel like the whole entire collection for this line is really sweet, minus the amber one. The amber one, I feel like I don't get any sweetness out of that one. I just get a lot of woodiness and I don't, don't enjoy that. But this one is pistachio. It's a really sweet and creamy pistachio. Um, and I feel like if you like pistachio, you will enjoy this. It goes well with all of the pistachio fragrances that have come out this year. I feel like we did get a pistachio. Was it from pink though? I don't remember. But yeah, so I do enjoy this one as well. So honestly... Everything that I got from both collections were a win for me. I am glad that I went in store and was able to smell those. So that way I don't have to be buying stuff and taking them back. Honestly, I would prefer to do that instead of purchasing the whole line, but usually online pops up quicker than in my stores. So yeah, I will be doing a Victoria's Secret haul as well because I'll be showing you this stuff as well as more body care and a couple clothing pieces that I picked up. So stay tuned for that video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, let me know, did any of you pick this collection up? I do know I have a few friends on here who have already picked this collection up and talked about them. I'm a little bit late because this past week has been a little hectic. So yeah, that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in another video. Bye.